Hi viewers, this is Vetaway. Today we can discuss about how to install and configure the remote desktop connection feature in the Windows Server. Let's begin. Open your Server Manager and click the Add Role and Features and choose the Remote Desktop Service Installation and click Next. There is a two option: the Standard Deployment and Quick Start. If you choose the Standard Deployment, you can add the multiple remote desktop servers service in single server I'm going to choose the quick start so only with the one server it will act as a remote desktop service click next and choose the session based desktop deployment or the virtual machine based desktop environment so we are going to choose the session based desktop deployment click next and I click next so you can see here the quick start will install the rds connection and rd web access and rd session host server so check the restart destination server automatically if record the remote desktop service by basically we are using to host the remote application so without zero initialization in the user device we can virtualize the application and desktops through the remote desktop url after restarted the machine the installation still is progress so now you can see here the remote desktop service role service and the session collection remote app programs it is successful we have installed so if you want accessing the remote extra web access you can choose this link so click this link click the continue to this website so you will get that work resource so go to your server manager and close so just log in your account so i am going to log in my administrator account So you can see here by default we have we have the some application just to click this one so if you click that application means it automatically downloading if you want you can save or you can just connect you can just connect the application using your credential So now we have opened the remote apps. We have opened the remote apps. So like that, you can publish all the application from your server. So go to the server manager and open the remote desktop service. Now we have the only one option, the quick session collection. So go to the collections and if you want you need to configure the certification and click the edit deployment properties and maximize and to go to the rd license so if you want accessing this server more than two user we need to purchase the remote desktop license the license mode we have the two two type one device and per user so if you purchasing the device means so one device it will connect the server if you uh, go with the user license means the user having the multiple device but it is based on the user license click the rd web access so this is the url so you can provide this url to the your user they will accessing they will accessing this url and after they will connect your remote application go to the certification so we don't have any certification so we are going to configure the certification part 
so click new certification and type the name of the host server go to the system properties and copy the computer name and paste it give the password of the certification click ok so now the certification we have created just apply click ok now we have installed that certification click ok go to the quick collection so by default these are the remote app programs is published if you want to publish that more application means click the task and choose the publish remote programs choose your so what are the program installed in the server it will automatically populate to the user so i am going to choose the remote paint option click add so if you want to choose the add add you can choose the your own programs which is installed in the locally i am going to choose the sum of the settings i am going to add the system configuration and the system information click next and you can see here that we have successfully added the three application now you can close this one so if you want to restrict the user means you can go to the session and you can add the user who are going to access this application by default the domain user is able to access the remote app if you want to restrict the user you need to create the one group in the active directory so you can just add that group in your in this section so click ok so every time when you are opening the rds it will throw the prompt so close this one and go to the collection and edit the collection so go to the rds and click the rds web access click continue and type your administrator password so now we can see here that we have published the system settings to the RTS so open this one so every time this application it is downloading from URL it is downloading from your local so we are going to prevent these options open your group policies gp edit in left hand side click the administrator template and choose the system to open the credential delegation so in that credential delegation we are going to allow delegating default credential so we are going to avoiding the password from prompt from every time so go to add your server name here so we already we have copied that server name just add the rda server click ok and apply and ok so now open the command prompt 
and type the command gp update slash force So we have successfully updated the policies now close this gp update and sign out your resource and again you can open that rds web access so now click to open any one of the application now it is directly opened previously we have entered that credential it is not asking that credential like that you can configure the remote desktop service features in windows server thanks for watching